Hello. We are going to look at how are we supposed to perform conditional proofs in circle geometry. In circle geometry, we prove conditional statements of the form if A then B or A implies B. Antecedent A and consequent B or hypothesis A and conclusion B. All those words refer to the same thing. Its converse is if B, then A. That is, we switch hypothesis and conclusion. Its contrapositive is if not B, then not A, negating the converse. So in this presentation, you will learn how to perform conditional proof if A, then B and what to prove in circle geometry. How to perform conditional proof if hypothesis, then conclusion. To show if A, then B, there are two basic methods. Number one, direct proof. Assume A is true, then show B is true. Number two, the contrapositive. Assume B is false, then show A is false. In this presentation, I will focus on direct proof only. As an example, given that 8x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1, prove that x is equal to 1. So this is the hypothesis. This is the conclusion. We can write that in the if then form. That is, if 8x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1, then x is equal to 1. Now, to show that, I'll use a two column presentation where the statement and the reason. So, the statement, the first statement we write here, where did we get it? That is given information. That's the hypothesis. Then, from there, we subtract 2x both sides to result in this expression. Right from there, we add five both sides to reach to this result. Then we divide by six both sides, we get our x is equals one. So we have arrived at our conclusion and we have proved that 8x minus five, if 8x minus five is equal to two x plus one, then x is equals to one. That is direct proof for you. Now, let us look at what to prove in circle geometry. Applying other statements already accepted as true. The circle theorems, properties of lines, parallel lines, quadrilaterals, and triangles. Either you find yourself wanting or required to prove that um, a cyclic or a given quadrilateral is cyclic or a line is tangent to a circle or two lines are parallel or two line segments are equal. So what I'm simply going to do is in my next videos, I will pass through how to prove each of them. So this is all what I had prepared for today. Thank you very much.